Hi everyone, I'm coming on to do a design team project for Shabby is Chic Boutique. Um, it's a Facebook group um, which sells the most beautiful craft products. So what I have got here is it was a paper mache box. Nothing fancy about it, that was the original colour of it. Um, you up a wee bit. There we go. Um, nothing fancy about it. I have gessoed the inside. I will repaint that. Um, just plain white. I just like to finish my boxes. The outside I have painted with um, white acrylic in a few spots of this um, spice red just to give me a pink colour. The other pinks that I had weren't going to work for this product um, because I wanted it to be quite shabby chic um, and the idea in my head the other pink that I have is a paralysed which was too polished and finished looking so I decided to mix my own. You're not really going to see much of the pink anyway because it will be covered quite a bit. But again, I like my boxes to be finished. So I'm just going to put my heat gun on. And I will show you some of the products that I'm going to be working with today. Um, I don't edit my videos, so you will see everything, what's and all. Um, I have gessoed the lid of the box. I haven't done the inside as yet but that is something that I will do. I will probably do that off camera though. I will finish the rest of it off once the product fi once the project's finished um, so that I'm not keeping you here on camera too long. Um, so I'm going to move that out the road first because I need to wait in my glue gun heating up. So I have got a little bit of um, deco patch and it's the glossy for them. I have just put it in every tray with some wax paper so it's easy to clean out. <coughs> and I am using one of the napkins from Shabby Chic Boutique. Um, these are sold individually, which are fantastic. So I'm wanting sentiment to be on the image on the top. So I'm just going to cut out this top panel. First of all, move that out the road so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just coming along this top panel here and just snipping and so I won't need that. So I can put that aside for now. And I think I need the two panels for this, if I'm right. Yeah, I do. So I'm just going to take this, the backing off these. So if you just, because I've um, snipped them in the middle, it's a bit easier to separate. And these are just a two-ply. Sometimes you get three-ply. Well, that's just a two. I'll just double check that though. Yeah, definitely just a two. So I'm going to go on and put some deco patch on my box. Um, So here goes. 
I think I'll use this bigger brush so I've got a bit more flexibility on it so I'm just adding a good layer on I'm just making sure that that's nice and slick. There we go. And I want my wording on. So I'm just going to start from down here and just gently brush it on. just be a bit delicate with your napkin because it will tear Just making sure that I get as many of bubbles out as I can. Just give it a good layer over with the deco patch just to make sure that it's nice and glossy when I've finished. And for this side here, I'm going to be a bit short because I wanted the words on. So I'll just glue that wee part down first. The same with the front. If you see there's just a small overhang there. So I'm not going to have enough to cover the whole edge. So what I'm going to do is just go along with some deco patch. and just fold it in and I'm not overly worried about creases on the front parts 
because you're going to see very little of that once it's decorated. Now for the back I've got a fair bit to work with, so I'll just tuck that down. So I'll hold it there and just let you see what I'm doing. So I'm just going across this with decoupage. And again I'm using a fair amount. Make sure it sticks. And then just fold that down. And I'm slightly pulling it, not much. It's just so that I can make sure that it's covered. Sorry, I'm shaking you around a bit. There we go. And the same with this panel, but I'm going to cut a fair bit of this off just now. Because it's going to be too long. And this will help decorate my other sides so I'm just going to hold on to that part and do the same as I've done before just add a fair amount on and then we'll pull it up And just gently brush your deco patch on. And I will just join those two wee corners there. And I'm going to snip a bit away because I don't need all that. Try to be careful because the base of it's still wet, obviously. But even just snip up and take that away, and then you can shape that round your corner better, like that. And you don't really see that there has been a cut there at all, which is great. And what we'll do is do similar on the other side, and that's just mitre it in slightly. There you go. So that's that part done, okay. And the top of that's still damp, so I'm trying to be careful where I hold. So I'm going to do this part here and what I'm going to do is make sure this part's long enough and it's not but what I should be able to do is to patch it slightly. Yeah, I'll be able to patch it a wee tiny bit because I don't want to use another napkin for such a small area. So I'm just putting some decoupage on. And what I'm going to do is use the brown area first. because there's like a brown border at this side so I'm actually going to use the same brown border at that side Oops. just there 
and then just come across. I'll just see if I can take it up a bit there. I'm doing this one. There we go. Um, so I have put that on and I'm just layering that over it and as you'll see there is a small section there that's needing patched so I will do that in just a second but I want to just make sure this part stuck down first And what I've got here, whoops, see, I'll weigh it down a wee bit. What I've got here is just a tiny wee bit of napkin. So I'm just going to patch that over it. And I'll just tear a wee bit off so that I don't have tons going on. and just give it a wee brush there add that part on and as I said, to be honest, you won't even see this when it's decorated but I just like to know that everything is finished properly there we go and then we've got this last side here and again, I'm going to trim this part off. Because I'm not going to waste it. Whoops, a daisy. Just going across here with some deck patch. Just make sure that's tucked in nicely. And then I'm just going to place this on top. And because obviously that, I'll turn it that way and do it. So that I've got a nice straight edge at the top. There we go. I'm just coming along here. Pick up another wee bit of glue. get another wee bit of glue out because that's been quite dry uh, and I don't think I've got enough on it. So I'm just going to put another small amount in here. go back over it just to make sure that it is adhered enough. There we go. 
and then I'm going to go back on here and give my top layer another coat just because it's a glossy finish I want to make sure it's really really done so I'm just going over the corners and making sure that they're well stuck down And then what I'll do is I'll move that aside until it's dry and I will start on the base of my box. Right, that's plenty of glue on that. I'm just going to let that wee wipe out. I'll wrap it in a baby wipe just now until I can get it washed. There we go. Right, so all of this will get trimmed once it's dry. Because then it's super easy to take off. properly and I'll place it down there while I'm doing the next part. Right, back to my base. So I have got some pink felt here from my stash. The camera's annoying me. So I've got some pink from my stash and I'm just going to glue that straight down um, and that's going to be for my base so I've got my hot glue gun here and I'm just going to put a good amount on this corner just to give me a start okay. I don't know what that was but I'll sort it in a minute and I'm just giving it a good press down anything that's coming out just take it away it's not a massive hassle there we go that's that corner done Oops. Pull that back. and I'm going into this corner here Just letting that fall over and again just making sure anything that's extra comes off peel that side back if you do it just a bit at a time it's easier to control Sometimes with the hot glue you end up in a gummy mess and you don't know what to do next. So I'm just placing that down gently and I want a wee bit more over here. So I'm just so that it's where I want it. Oops. I'm just going back in and just adding a wee bit there and coming across. And then I've got this 
small section here. So I'm just going to whoops. That's fine, that'll just come off. So I'll just and then just trim the felt down so I'm going to cut in Just trim it to what you want. There's just a few wee bits here that I'm not happy with. So I'm just trimming that off a bit. Here's a wee tiny bit over. And that'll do me. I'm quite happy with that now. So I've got these flat back pedals that Amy had put in my design team pack. Um, these are available to buy in sets of I never wrote that down. Let me just see if I can find it. As I said, I just want to make sure that you've got as much information as possible when you are looking to buy. Um, products um, if I can give you as much information as I can then it will help you when you're going to buy it so photographs then let me see albums and embellishments and buttons that's the folder it's in and there we go and we have at the moment you get 16 millimeter pedal buttons and they are not shanked and they are 10 in a pack at the moment so I'm just going to place these down just a small amount of glue and then what you just do is wiggle it on just try and show you it. if you wiggle it it actually works the glue into the felt and it prevents it from becoming unstuck so again just a wee bit of glue on uh, the project and just a little wiggle just with your two fingers and you'll feel once it's adhered because your fingers won't be able to move anymore so 
just a little bit of glue and I'll show you how much I'm using that's there can you see that one there there isn't much it is just a wee spot and then just wiggle until it's stuck fast and then the same at the last side just put it on and a wee wiggle I'll go on to your gluing adapter That's so there's a tiny wee bit of glue that seeped out from that one so I'm just picking that off because that's unsightly to me anyway so I've got my wee oh don't do this to me there we go that's it off that's for the um, base, got a bit of height too. Um, now, I want to add a bit of a gather round it as like a skirt, but I didn't have any gather trim in my DT pack, so I have just stuck some from my stash. So I'm just making sure that I have got enough. So I'll just go around it. And I will snip it there. Just so that I'm not going to have loads of waste. And put that away. So I want it to come down quite low. I'm thinking about here. Yep. So that's the height I'm going to put it at. Okay, so I'm going to put the first bit of glue on. And I'll just need to raise you up for this because no, you're not even going to see it there. Let's see. There we go. Um, it's just so that I can have it facing middly. So I put a tiny wee bit on the lace first and then find my height and stick it down just hold my finger on it and that makes sure that my first bit of lace is well stuck so when I go to add the rest and I'm pulling at it it's not going to come away all right so I can turn that away from me now and with these boxes I find it easier to add the glue to the lace Look at that one the right way actually. I'm sure I checked it though. Yeah, I have. Both ends are finished so well it's hard to see. So I'm just adding a bit of glue on my lace and then just pulling it over. Okay. And I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing where I think it should be placed. Alright. There actually isn't much I gather there. So I'm going to pull this back a wee bit. And add a wee bit more of a gather on my own. So I'll just put a wee bit more glue. place it down but I'll just add tiny wee bits of gather into it just by pulling the lace in Oops. and 
just looks as if that part's been stitched too quickly and they haven't plated it so I'm just pinching it just to get that gallard effect there we go I mean the rest it's absolutely fine it was just that wee bit there that was too flat so I'm just going to go on and add the rest of this glue on here and then just pull it over and as I said I'm just eyeballing where I think it should be Again, I'm just adding a wee bit of glue and I've added it onto the box this time because it's a corner it'll just give me a wee bit extra security quickly right. so I'm just adding some glue along here And then just pull it right across here. And pull it down. You bit excess glue hanging off. Just adding my glue along my leaves. I'm just pulling it around. And I've only got a wee bit here to join. So I'm just going to add it over my leaves. do actually is just finish that part off on here so I'm just tucking the end of the lace in do that first and then glue it down and that just stops the raw edge on it where it's finished and as you'll see because I had turned that over you've not got a raw edge it's flat edge so that's what we've got so far and now we'll go on to some of Amy's trims now I've got this gorgeous dangle trim I want to use and I'm just going to make sure I've got plenty there yep I'm just going to pull it over and snip what I don't need and that's going to come there so I'll cut it here There we go. And I'll put that back in my box. 
Right, so let me see if I've got my lid there. Because I need to see how much space I need to leave on it. So I'm just going to use my pencil and this is just going to show me so if I actually put my pencil against the lid and give a quick draw line I know that's where I need to put my lace to prevent it from um, stopping the box closing Put that there because that's just a bit dry. We'll get this lace on and then we'll start the next part. So I'm just going to turn that away from me. Make sure I've got the right side up. And I'll just start where this pencil line is. Um, and because this is quite a fine lace up at the top there isn't much room to put the glue I'm going to add the glue to the box which I don't normally do but I think for this I will so I'm just making sure that it's nearby as soon as I've put it on because it will dry really quickly I'm just put that on and then put it into the glue and just press it in and you'll see that has actually gave a really nice level and that part's not stuck right, I can see it moving there so there's not been enough glue there so I'll just add another wee bit there this part here is loose as well so I'm just along the top of the lace actually I think it might be easier as I said it's just because it's fine I don't want to burn myself okay. right on you go JD I'm filming yeah. So I'm just hold the lace here and I'm just I'm trying to be careful because I'm a bit shaky this morning. Add it onto the one wee corner of it and then just pull it round. And I'm just making sure that I'm at the same level as I was I'll just tilt that down there the now can feel the glue strands getting about excuse me a minute while I'm sticking this last wee bit down I'll get it in a second. Put it at the side of me now, please. Yeah. Put it down, Jed. No, it's for someone else. Okay, put it down. It's me. Put it down, please. It's me. Jed and Jack. I'm going for someone else. Jed and Jack, I'm not kidding. Put it down. It's for Johnny. Put it down. Hi. 
Okay, he's starting to review it. Jaden, I'm filming. Please go away the now. is just beautiful absolutely stunning so I'm just going along here and just letting it come across and again just pressing down my finger again pressing down my finger that light's atrocious sorry about that but I'm hoping very soon to get a new camera with decent lighting That low parts there. Jaden, I'm filming. Go away now. Mama, yes, right, well, I'm filming, so just go there now. Yes. I could sit in this room for three, four hours and not hear from him. And the minute I put the camera on, he suddenly want to be my best friend I'll just start and run a little wee bit and that will just slightly overlap so I'm actually just going to cut this last one off or will I? I will so I'm going to cut this wee tiny dangle off here see that that has gave it a really really nice level super pretty right and you'll see with the lid on that it doesn't obstruct it can still see the lace perfectly. Whoops. So I'm just going to take that off and we'll get this trimmed down now. So I'll just tilt you down again. There we are. Get rid of that felt because I'm finished with that. I can go back with my box. Right. And to cut down the edges of this I use a sanding block I find it's um, much easier to work with Oops. I find it's much easier to work with so all you do is take the sanding block and just gently rub it along edge of your project and you'll see that this just peels away then and that'll 
I'll just go in with this part a bit more. And that takes it off. And just here where it's a wee bit loose, I'll just go in with some decoupage in a wee minute and finish that. So we'll just come round to this side and do the same. So you just pulling your sanding block in a downward motion. And you'll see that it's already starting to come away. here because I've got the two layers there. I'll just persevere with it and it will come away without a problem. There is still a wee bit there, so I'm going to take that away as well. It's just that we get a bit extra glue in it, that's all. There we go. So that's that part off. And then for this part here, same applies, just a downward sweep. And the drier it is, the easier it is. So that's that part done. And here where I've got a bit extra, I'm just going to do the same. Just sand that wee bit extra off. And it gives it a nice edged finish. Just going around to making sure that everything's nice and flat. that's the wee box lid done and I won't throw that part in the napkin out I'll keep that for another bit of project if I need it and these scraps will go out though right We've got our box lid, we've got our box base, and now I just need to tie both of these together. So I've got a dainty trim here that I quite like, but I think I need to add a wee bit of frill onto that top box as well. 
so I have got this lace which is a cream but I think it'll go fine so I'm just going to measure that out and this is just from my stash this one or will I use the same white let me see how much that will drop on it because I don't want it to be too covered that'll work so I will tie this I have a cream one back up just roughly the nose and we'll cut another section of this off so I'm just going to measure it round away And we're about here, I would say. I'll move that over there then out. I'll take that box lid off again. Just so that I can have a smaller working area. So again, I'm just going to start adding this on make sure I've got the right side up I really should have my glasses on I think that's the right side so I'm just going to add a tiny bit to my leaves first of all then add it on to my box and I've left a wee gap at the top because I want to use that dainty trim above it so that the dainty trim is coming over like that and see what I like that so that's why I'm doing it a wee bit further down than I would normally. So I'm just tilting that back so that I can see. bringing it round and just giving it a wee press on so it's just a wee quick layer on there and then flip it over onto the box lid and again I'm just making sure that any excess gets took off trying to melt mouse wire that's not clever here that's out of your sight at the moment Oops, so there's a... but I'm just coming along here 